What if I told you your Intel HD graphics can actually perform better than it is now? Your games don't have to lag and your PC doesn't need a dedicated GPU to run smoother. In this video, I'll show you how to unlock the full potential of your Intel HD graphics using Throttle Stop with no risky overclocking and no BIOS tweaks. Before starting, let's check the baseline. Open Tax Manager. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. Go to the Performance tab. Select GPU 0, which is your Intel HD graphics. Here you have to take note of your base clock speed. This gives us a baseline to compare later. Let's start by you opening your preferred web browser. And type in www.techpowerapp.com Download Tech Power App Total Stop and hit enter. Now let's download the latest zip file from the Total Stop website. Select the server for download. Choose a location close to you. From there, open the downloaded file. Right click in the folder and select Extract All to a folder you can easily access. Inside the folder, right click on Proto Stop Executable File and run it as an administrator. This tool modifies your CPU performance settings. Improper adjustments may cause instability or overheating. Ensure proper cooling and monitor temperatures. I am not responsible for any hardware or software issues. Once it opens, you will see the speed shift or set multiplier, the BD pushot, which is the power throttling control, the TPL, which is the turbo power limit, and the FIVR, which is the CPU voltage. You would also see the limit reasons, which is why your CPU is struggling, and a log file option. We are going to adjust only the safe performance enhancing sections. The first step is to disable the CPU throttling. Uncheck the BD, which is the bi-directional pushout. These settings can throttle your CPU if any sensor reports overheating, even if your CPU is not hot. Disabling the settings will enable your CPU stay at turbo frequency. That means your Intel HD graphics also runs faster since it shares system power, and there will be no more sudden dips in FPS due to power management triggers. You will see smoother frame rates in all Older games or when multitasking with GPU load. The next step is to remove power limits. Now let's unlock more power for your integrated graphics. We are going to remove the CPU's turbo power limit so the Intel HD graphics can breathe. Uncheck Disable Control, which will allow changes to be made. Now set Long Power PL1 to 55 and Short Power PL2 to 55. Turbo Time Limit to 28 or slide it fully right for unlimited. And don't forget to check the clamp for both PL1 and PL2 if you want to enforce those values. Now check the bright checkbox to apply the changes. Optionally, you can take the speed shift if using a modern CPU like the 6th generation CPUs and above. Then click apply and OK. With this, we are letting your CPU and your Intel HD graphics pull as much power as it needs without being choked by the 8 second turbo window or low wattage caps. The major benefit is you would gain a sustained high clock speed from which games and apps will load faster without stuttering. And there will be no sudden performance drops which fixes FPS dips after 20 to 30 seconds in gameplay or rendering. The next step is to enable the speed step or speed shift. If you have speed shift, Check speed shift and set the number to zero. But for older CPUs like mine, I will enable the speed step and lock max multiplier. The major benefit is that you would get a better Intel HD graphics performance and also a consistent high frequency CPU, which will provide a smoother 2D or 3D rendering. It will also provide more room for stable multitasking, from which there will be no stuttering when switching between apps or tabs. Using browsers and background services will stay smooth. The next step is to undervote if your system is stable after the settings we are about to make. Click FIVR. Under CPU Core and CPU Cache, Try offsetting the voltage to minus 50. 
If it's stable, you can try 75, then 100. Do the same for the CPU cache. Try offsetting the voltage to minus 50. If it's stable, you can try 75, then 100. And click apply, then OK. This will provide more stable gaming sessions since it prevents FPS dips from CPU or GPU clockling due to heat. And it will also extend your hardware lifespan since lower temperatures reduce stress on your motherboard, video RAM, and CPU. The last step is to save and set the throttle stop to auto start. Back on the main window, click turn on. Click save so all your settings load automatically. To auto run throttle stop on startup, press Windows plus R and type show start up and press enter from here copy a shortcut of throttle stop executable file into this folder navigate to the throttle stop executable file right click it and select create shortcut a shortcut of the executable file will be created from there copy shortcut and paste it in the startup folder. Optionally, you can run the shortcut as an administrator. Right click the shortcut, select properties. In the shortcut tab, click advanced. Check run as administrator. Now throttle stop will run automatically on each login and with administrative privileges. This ensures throttle stop launches every time Windows starts so that your Intel HD graphics and CPU will stay optimized on every boot, delivering consistent FPS, smoother multitasking, and zero performance loss after restart. Now if you followed all the steps so far, your Intel HD graphics should already feel a bit more responsive. But let me show you something even better. Instead of tweaking the registry, power plans, and startup entries manually every time, I have built a tool that automates the whole process in one click. This is the ultimate iGPU Booster Pro, a lightweight tool I personally use. And now it's available for you on my Gumroad page. Once you download the file, just open it from your web browser. Right click inside the folder and select Extract All to a location you can easily access it. Inside, you would find the tool and a simple guide. Right click the tool and run as administrator. Follow the prompt and let the magic happen. What you are seeing right now is your system getting a professional level up tune up, specifically for Intel HD and UHD graphics. The tool has successfully launched in administrator mode. It's now analyzing your specific Intel graphics configuration and preparing to apply six powerful optimizations. Press any key to begin the process. It will provide a VRAM boost, giving your integrated graphics more dedicated memory of 512 megabytes. It will unleash more power, switching your PC to ultimate performance mode. Throttling will also be removed, which will stop unnecessary speed limits. Windows will also be optimized for gaming and creative work. And lastly, it will remove temporary files that slow you down. The next step when completed is you'll be asked to restart your PC. Type Y. To test your results, let's confirm the new inclusion of the power plan. Press Windows plus R to open the RAM dialog box. Type Control Power CFG CPL and press Enter. Right there, Ultimate Performance is now added and active. Now open Tax Manager. Press Control plus Shift plus Escape. Go to the Performance tab. And click on GPU 0, which is the Intel HD graphics. You would see an improved GPU performance matrix. From here, you can expect a smoother gameplay, better video editing performance, reduced stuttering, and more stable frame rates. For maximum results, always run the tool again after a major Windows update. Click the link pinned in the comments to download the tool for instant automatic Intel HD graphics optimization.